Hello, everyone, and welcome to the season finale of New, po New Pantheon, the Hotel California. My name is Stephen Pope. I've been your herald for this season, and let's meet our table one last time, starting with the incomparable Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and I play Will Ajayi, the scion of Aja of the Orisha Pantheon, and I am your verdant. Nice. Her eyeliner is so sharp, she could cut someone with it, Abria Iyengar. Hello, I'm Bria. I'm playing Megan Moore, the group's warrior. And I just want to remind everyone that this Megan is literally the one from the Demigods book, just to be very clear. She's canon. She's canonically me. <laughs> yeah. That's the opposite of a problem. Next up, they have sexy facial hair and better hair than I will ever have, Eric Reichert. That some all of those statements were were partially if not fully false hi how's it going everybody i'm eric uh and i'm playing flynn fairbanks who is the trickster and scion of robin hood and finally i'd pay good money to have them roll on top of me sam to live we're friends i can make that joke i well, hope for you Maybe you can jump the queue a little bit. Hi, I'm Ooh. Sam Delev. I'm playing Bells de Moy, scion of Aphrodite and the muse of our group. So, uh, before we get into it, we do have to thank our special sponsor today, StartPlaying.Games, bringing the gig economy to the tabletop. If you're trying to find a GM or just trying to find a table, uh, you can go here, find someone, and for a very reasonable fee, get the game of your dreams. Uh, you might be able to find some save and throw cast on there too if you really want to play under them. So give that a check out at startplaying.games. Also, special thanks to them. We'll keep our kobolds fed a little bit longer. Apart from that, we also are a mostly independent entity, always accepting applications for Sugar Daddy. Uh, so we want to thank everyone who's given us some toast uh, right now, starting with Simi David 95. So from Simi David 95, thank you all for such a wonderful season. Much love to the Herald and the God Kids. Amen to that. Thank you very much. Warrior of Books, to a wonderful season, wonderful characters, wonderful storytelling, to the feels, the mystery, and the compassion we saw to a stupendous Steven, that's me, an incredible Dom, and the phenomenal players, Eric, Abria, Aki, and Sam. Thank you, you made 2020 better. Amen to that, thank you. From Be Right UK, thanks to my favorite Harold and Godlings for an awesome season. I hope you can all get together again in the not too, but socially distant future. Amen to that, thank you so much. And finally, from Kantanawari, thank you very much for that tip, by the way. To five who weave the tale, those behind the scene, to those behind the scenes, to those like me who watch and see, shake the heavens with heart's fire, showing growth or destruction's desire. Finale is bitter parting, but story oh so sweet. We always want more. Amen to that, and thank you so much. And finally, from Arkrit Landry. I, I'm saying that right, right? Kreutz, but Kreutz. very close. Kreutz. Kreutz. Like German. Kreutz. Yeah. Our Kreutz Landry. All the love to the God Squad. Amen to that. I bought a soda stream the other day. It's the stupidest thing. I carbonated everything in my house. I love this thing. <laughs> I'm just picturing your animals running around carbonated. I'm so confused. Just like <laughs> your your dish soap? Carbonated. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Olive oil, carbonated. Yeah. I thought of hummus. Somehow also carbonated. <laughs> yeah, no. My soup, carbonated. My pasta water, carbonated. Toothpaste, carbonated. Nope, hate it. Hate it. <laughs> Hold on. I would 100%. I would 100% use carbonated toothpaste. Is it? That sounds amazing. Kind of carbonated? Oh, it sounds good. amazing. It sounds like that sodium base, or like the like the like the old school the like baking soda base. Baking yeah. Soda. Yeah, yeah, the Tinkle Boys. I'm sorry. The what? I no. What you heard her? What? I did, she but I want to make what sure. She said. <laughs> you know I'm, what? We're just gonna leave it at that. We have a long nope. day ahead of us. I wiped my captions to delete evidence of the weird thing I said. 
You know we fil- we record these, right? What? <laughs> what? Rude. Yes, you can find all of it on our YouTube channel, Saving Throw Show. Make sure you watch our VODs and subscribe. I can turn anything into a plug. <laughs> That's what my ex said. I got, got so mad. That- she got so mad they left, and she got so mad she left and came back. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Hey. <laughs> I am, because Dom has to reorder things now. <laughs> oh, but it's a Dom okay, I'm problem. I'm sorry to Dom. I'm sorry to Dom. All right, so we actually have a few subscriber unlocks. Uh, Quee Squared is a square and gives one to the table, like a chump. Chovixani, I'm always going to say your name like that because you keep giving the reroll to the table, you fool. Simi David 95. Okay, you know what? You know what, Simi David 95? I know you personally. We've met. You've been at my table. I respect you. I love you. And that's why I'm not mad at you for giving one to the table and one to me. Okay? All right. Warrior of books. Warrior of nerds. More nerd of books. Yeah, that's right. I went there. Give another to the table. That's four for the table so far. The great Yeah, sage- I am also failing to see how this is an insult, Sam. <laughs> I don't need the sass. I absolutely need the sass. I deserve the sass. Uh, Great Sage Under Heaven. You know what, Great Sage Under Heaven? You, you are a wonderful person with a radiant smile and your hair always looks great when you will get up in the morning. I know you don't feel that way, but it's true, okay? Because they give a reroll to me. Hacha. Uh, next up, S. Conrad 110. Nine, uh, we'll come back to you in a minute. Sinfully wicked, sinfully wicked. You know what? I don't think you're sinful nor wicked. I think you're a bastion of purity, a light in the darkness that is 2020 because they gave me a reroll and as such, you're a beautiful, beautiful person. Unlike our Krutz Landry or our crusty Laundry. Yeah, what up? I went there. Giving another one to the table. So that's six to the table. Six to the table and three for me. I'm not mad about it. Oh, and we do have one more toast from Monstrosity Jones. Time for the barbecue hot springs episode, right? You did make promises last week. Amen to that. And that's where we begin. There's a barbecue in the hot springs? Maybe. Yes, please. I would like to bend fate. (laughs) <laughs> that does sound delicious and wonderful so uh aki if you're if you're saying something you're you're muted well i mean captions got all of that i don't know about y'all but, I, I get- uh, but yes i was just saying that like uh i'm pretty sure like korean barbecue and hot like and bathhouse bathhouse like being conjoined uh is probably almost definitely a thing like there's no way it's not. And I know, and I'm almost sure that it's a thing in Japan too. It's like, like the, in the same building, you can go to like a bathhouse and get your barbecue. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they have those indoor, like like basically like sh- malls that are like, it's they've got food stands, but also different onsens and stuff like that. Well, are we talking about them or are we going to them? Thank well, you. after my green screen decided that it had enough of not being the center of my world, yeah. jealous thing. Uh, yes. Our story begins several days after the discovery of the murderer. You had found who had killed the Plague of the Valley, or as she was actually known as, the Lily of the Valley. You found out why they did it. You solved the case. And if you guys have earned anything after all that, after dealing with great-grandparents who alter time after seeing yourselves die, after being attacked by the creature in the woods, after dealing with the scarf man, after having very emotional discussions with your parents that, yikes on bikes, those were hard. Um, You guys find yourselves at an onsen. A Japanese bathhouse and hot springs with a barbecue stand. Heck yeah. Wait, are we in Japan? Where are we? You are absolutely in Japan. Say. We found the good ending. (laughs) 
uh, Megan is, okay, I'm going to make a call and it is wintry, mm -hmm. whenever this is. And we're at one of the cool onsen that has like the macaques that like sit in there with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has the monkeys. Yeah. And Megan is just like enamored of them trying to like feed them food and then command them to like mess with everyone else in the group. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and try to uh, sway someone? Oh no. Uh, absolutely. Why would that come with a roll? Oh, an eight plus probably nothing great. Hold on. We didn't do our start of session moves. We did not do our start of session moves. Let's go ahead and do those real quick before we go any further. All right, for what it's worth, I got a nine. Good Unless I get to use intimidation. Nah, I don't know if you're going nine. to intimidate monkeys, but I appreciate that. But since we're talking to you right now, Megan, uh, who do you have the most tangle with? Flynn! Yes. All right, Flynn, what do you want to see Megan uh, fail at today? I want to see Megan fail at, uh, at uh, swaying someone. Maybe these right. monkeys. We'll see. <laughs> All right. You guys have plenty of rerolls. All right, moving right along. Flynn, who do you have the most tangle with? Currently, it's Bells. Oh. Well, hello. Um, let's see, last time I wanted to see you fail to perform under pressure. This time I would like also the sway. It's really funny when you lie and it doesn't work. Hmm. Fair enough. Bells, who do you have the most tangle with? Also Flynn. Oh boy. Uh, I want to see um, ba Bells fail at... Uh, I'm hoping Bells throws a punch, so I'm going to say Smite. All right. Love it. And last but not least, Will, who do you have the most tangle with now? Flynn. All right. How this season ended up revolving around our white boy, I don't know, but it did. <laughs> I wasn't even trying, okay? Like last season, that was there was commentary there. This season, you guys did it yourselves, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. The trickster got us all entangled with him. Who, I ask, would have thunk? Mm -hmm. Would have stunk. I showed up. I was the most difficult amongst you. I'm like, I know that there were all these pantheons, but I'm going to invent my own and make you do all this extra work and also make everything about me. Thank you. Bye. Just the whitest of energy I walked in here with. I would love to see Will fail to perform under pressure. All I mean, right. we saw them do that all season. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Will did fine. Will had a great time this season. Will had the best vacation. Oh, so it's opposite. To Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I feel bad. I well, well, I apologize for what happened to you, you fictional little bean. So you succeeded with the monkeys or not? Uh, that's a very good question. So on a nine, you get a partial success. Uh, when you sway someone, Hold on. they'll do it, but they demand some kind of price. Hold on. Hold on. I see myself being vaguely effective with the monkeys. Oh, and yeah. I am full of beer and meat. And I turn to Bells and I snap and I say, help me, help me. And I will grant you monkey immunity. <laughs> All right. Bells is monkey immunity with? on the line. And, and Bells is just horizontal and uh, poaching. <laughs> <laughs> like obviously Flynn and is grandpa with us? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Boys on the other side of that big wall. Sick him. Yes. I love you, cousin. And All right. without opening their eyes, they just put out their hand for a high five <laughs> and put it back and continue to poach slash steam. All right. Yes. I get you a new little like head, uh, like wet head uh, towel. This is family value. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, and then float back. <laughs> uh, Will, where are you? Because I assume Bells and Megan are on the uh, lady presenting side of the 
I would imagine. Oh, I'm in fictionary non-binaryopolis where the gender goes wherever it wants. Well, yeah. I, I have that. bent fate in the world for that one. You know what? I'm not. I'm totally. A, I'm totally on board with that. Like, uh, no genders. There you go. No gendered bathrooms here. I mean, they well, have. Onsens. They have genderless onsens in Japan. Oh, do they? Cool. They, yeah. Anime lied they to are. me. Well, I mean, because like you can rent your own space at an onsen, and it's not gendered. Like. All right. If you have a private then I walk room. it back. If we're all together, then I'm just sending. Well, no, Bell sent monkeys just wherever Flynn. Right, is. Just across the. We'll just say the, there's yeah. a large rock in the center, and Flynn's on the other side of the large rock. Sure. Oh, good. So they can just death from above. Yay! Uh, I would say at Will is actually probably inside. Uh, the uh, watching from inside, like they're probably in their little like yukata robe. Uh, they've probably been on the phone uh, because I have decided they're the only person in this group who can actually speak Japanese, and so therefore they've been fielding a lot of the questions from staff about like, do you need anything? Uh, would you like us to bring your dinner at this time or that time? So they've basically just been managing all of this from inside. They, I don't know if they've actually had the chance to actually get in the bath and they've kind of been okay with that. They've just sort of been like chilling inside and reading books and watching uh, from from inside. Yeah. All right. Um, as you watch a herd of monkeys that look very determined come scraping by. Uh, one of them has a frying pan. You don't know where it got it and you might not want to ask. And Ajapa and Ahoro are currently playing ping pong. Ajapa's really bad at it because they're a tortoise. He does his best. If he didn't, if he wanted to, he could probably give uh, Ahoro a run for their money, but that would require him to become Donald Glover. Uh, and maybe he just doesn't want to do that. Just turn into the guy, okay? Turn to the person because right now the score is 96 to one and i'm still upset that i gave you that one okay work with me here come on please no. and he's in the shell he's in the shell you can't force him to do something he doesn't want to do a eh, horo uh, yeah but i don't want to go in the hot springs i'm all fur i mean so are the monkeys yeah but like have you talked to them well, no, I haven't attempted to talk to them. No. Oh, no. But it looks like Megan and Bells did to, uh, oh, God. Oh, leave. Oh, ugh. the score in effect is Ride of the Valkyries. Oh, yeah. As they descend. It's like, <laughs> can't they just, uh, nah, Grandpa, Grandpa can hold his own. Yep. Seriously, he's an, he's an old man. He's an old, okay, fine. Yes. We cut to uh, Grandpa Nathan and Flynn. Grandpa Nathan was not supposed to bring his cane. He doesn't need the cane, but he has the cane. And currently, he it is uh, Ride of the Valkyries, or maybe that one song that was actually pretty good in the third Star Wars movie, I mean, episode three, not the third one. Duel of the Fates. Duel of the Fates. Yeah. Oh, let well, me be clear, by the way. I wanted the monkeys to throw snowballs. Not poop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. They're throwing snowballs. In fact, they filled up the frying pan. So it's like a six snowball yes. at once toss. And Nathan is feeling his samurai fantasy right now as he slices and dices and dodges. <laughs> Flynn, what are you doing? Um, I will not allow myself to give up the, the high ground. So I am going to go just ham on snowballs, and uh, I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm a really good shot. Yes, you are. Yes. Um, <laughs> in, the monk in the language of monkeys, they begin to shout, for the honor of our onsen. Uh, yes! As Lynn, go ahead and roll to smite. <laughs> okay. Let's see how well I do about throwing snowballs at monkeys. Uh, so... Smite would be plus my prowess, yes, uh, which is zero, so that's a seven. But, um, yeah, so, uh, so I, yeah, I don't, I, it doesn't do anything it's special, so it's just a seven. All right, uh, you get to choose one from the list, okay. 
Okay, I am going to, um, how about, I'm going to uh, protect myself. I'm going to throw my snowballs and intercept their snowballs. I love it. Yes, uh, the two objects collide and fall into the hot water, water a little too close to Nathan. He goes, God damn it, no, cold, fuck. I am, I am here for my vacation. I have earned this. We have all earned this. Oh, right in the temple, right in the temple. Ah, destroy them, my pretties, and I'm gonna use practical tactical brilliance to coordinate their attacks. I'd like to provide right. aid. Provide aid. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six. Let's do it again because I want godlike. Use a reroll. Oh, um, you guys have. Five I'm already now. giving you the plus two and a threat because I oh. do the thing that I do. I forgot about that. Thank you. But I just rolled double fives. So it's going to be a million. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my calculation as well. A 16. I rolled a 16. Mm-hmm. Is that I love it. like, do you do just everything? Yeah. Yes, they uh, do. This everything. is so good. Like, just flavor wise, I think it is very obvious that like Will is the only one that speaks Japanese. Oh, and yeah. yet, Megan begins like commanding them in like Japanese. And like coordinating assaults and like it was like just flanking maneuvers. He's a worthy opponent. You must surround him. I imagine you're kind of giving a monologue you heard from a Kira Kurosawa film. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. literally nothing that she can't do. <laughs> She's standing and her wings are like scattering water everywhere. She points and gets way too into this and then he asks for more uh sake but that like breaks the uh asking for things in japanese and she just sort of mumbles and uh, all right back to english that's fine go my pretties <laughs> and that is the score that uh bells has moved to uh which is the perfect date they are humming it yeah i love it um Flynn, you are being uh, attacked by monkeys and your girlfriend has gone full Shogun. What do you do? Um, I am going to use a cantrip. I'm going to use message. So I'm just going to point at her from across the, the onsen and just whisper under my breath. But because of, because of, it's, it's, a, it's a cantrip, she can hear it. And I'll be like... The... Di- the battle may be yours, but the day will be mine. You will pay for this in the end, yes. and you will beg for mercy when I am done with you. Siru! Attack! <laughs> the monkeys gather more snowballs. One of them makes a whole snowman before flinging the yes. head at you, Flynn. Uh, the carrot is coming dangerously close to you. What do you do? Uh, I am going to cast minor illusion and i'm going to turn that snow snowman into uh make it look like a a giant crazy monster that is going to rampage so anyway, we're going Megan, to try to yeah. make a snow kaiju yeah all right uh do you have to make a roll for this uh well it's i i've i have i picked up the cantrip uh ability which you've mastered several basic uh spells that require little to no effort on your part uh make a light uh, uh small spell uh, they don't require rolls so it's just it's just like minor illusion so it's not a like a kaiju it's just like a snowman sized like moving thing like maybe about the size of them all right um the monkeys begin to shriek and panic and run away as Snowzilla begins stomping around their monkey towns. Uh, Panic erupts. They get out their little monkey machine guns and they're powerless to stop him. And soon they get out the monkey the monkey satellite guns, those still don't help. Soon they have to get their own monkey mechs to fight the snowman. And it's a battle for the ages. So yes, they they have ceased throwing stuff at you to deal with this new uh, tiny kaiju. Yeah, and there's just the this now now it's the song from uh, Pacific Rim. Just oh, absolutely. Uh, in the middle of this, as it's like 
gone completely off the deep end, Megan's definitely going to turn to Vels and just say, he's perfect. <laughs> Die gloriously! <laughs> Vels, who's, again, just taking in the heat and eyes covered the whole time, just hearing this. Of course, dear. <laughs> Uh, Will, uh, you hear a knocking at your door. Okay, I'll go and get it. Mm -hmm. You are greeted with a umbrella with a single eye and it's tying that a little bit, uh, wearing a sandal. On its head is balanced a uh, plate of, a small plate with several uh, serving glasses and a bottle of sake. We brought this to you. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Oh, it's a pleasure. He hops over and he puts it on the table for you. Uh, can I fit you in here? Um, I think that as long I'm as I'm so you... sorry for our subtitles. Yeah, as long as you keep keep them coming, I'm sure we'll we'll be fine. Uh, at some point, we might order food to soak it all up, but for now, yeah, just. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind uh, a little bit of a snack if you've got some uh, otsumame and some stuff like that. But I'll go get it from the kit then. Thank you. And he hops off. Uh, so Will uh, brings the tray of glasses out to everybody else and just kind of quietly pours uh, everyone their glasses um, and moves around and like kind of uh, with their book sort of sits in between like the whatever semicircle it is that we've created with like their feet in the onsen but they mm -hmm. they're they're still very much kind of in their own world just sort of like reading their book yeah uh, will you must raise your banners respect me your emperor expel the foreign barbarian i haven't seen or not seen anything this dramatic in my family since Helen started messing around. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think, uh, I think I shall remain a neutral party. <gasps> Switzerland. You know, they're valid too. Mm. I will remember this. And then I start like lobbing snow, like massive snowballs over too, because I want to play. Oh, uh, were you lobbing these snowballs? Yeah, I'm getting in there. Okay, all right. Uh, give me a smite roll. Oh no. <laughs> uh, 11 plus four is a 15. Yeah, we're going to say, I, I'm going to say this is all non lethal. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, Flynn, uh, the whatever life you had is now gone as you watch this monkey wife sob over her uh, dead monkey husband. He's not actually dead. They're just really getting into this. Nate. Yeah. Grandpa Nathan is crying. You know, this is a really moving soap opera sort of situation. Um, I want died. there to be just like a like a temporary blotting out of the sun as just a volley of snowballs, impossible snowballs. That's exactly over. what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> yeah, just like looks up and then Flynn just looks up and goes, honey. And then <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so Will, Will with their book literally just goes. <laughs> Well, you don't weigh a whole lot. Uh, when the snow lands, you go flying up into the air a good foot and a half before you land back down as the whole world rumbles as the snow lands on Flynn. Uh, I mean, they're having a good time. I think Will just, just, con just continues to read. <laughs> it just <laughs> continues to read. Flynn, you are under a lot of snow. Uh, the monkeys have proceeded to build little igloos, and one of and a couple of them have kind of started a snow piercer sort of situation. Okay, I I I will uh, just begin slowly, like trudging my way towards the hot spring, and then melting into the the water. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, you go into the water, and it is a bit of a shock, but dear. God, you needed it because there was a brief moment where you were pretty sure, oh, this is how I die. Frozen to death <laughs> in a hot spring. I, yeah. I, I mean, I've died in some weird ways before, so. Yes. 
Megan, you see the waggling cane somewhere in the snow of Grandpa Nathan. Peepums! <laughs> uh, all right. And then she just kind of like trudges over uh, with a big, like a full bottle of sake and like drops off a little floaty saucer of it for Flynn as she like, like kind of walks, swims by and pulls Grandpa Nathan out. He comes out with a pup and uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, you see there are some very disappointed monkey anthropologists who really wanted to study the fro frozen man for science, but uh, <laughs> yes, uh, he is cold, his nose is a little blue, and he looks very angry with you. Yeah, just go in the water and drink this simultaneously. You fought gloriously. He snatches the bottle from you and downs the whole thing. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I liked your move. I liked, I liked that slice when it went in half. That was great. You kids don't know this. You kids don't know this. But back in my day, back in my day, I, I've got to be sick. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. He goes trudging by and heads into the uh, little hotel you've uh, been crashing at. So, as the monkeys begin to rebuild their monkey civilization, uh, Megan, they have built a very un unflattering snow sculpture of you. Yes. But, like, the thoughts there. Yeah, I like it. I strike an equivalent pose and then walk back into the onsen. Yes. Like, into the hot spring. Like, yeah. I'm their god now. Yeah, you kind of are. This is what she announces as she, like, walks back over. So we're moving on from battle rage. And at this point, I think uh, Bells has cooked through and is going to <laughs> sit up on the side for a moment. How red is Bells? Like, um, how boiled are we talking here? Almost enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is nothing but respite un until the next round. Oh, yeah. Um, they wish to become the lobster they want to eat in the world. Be the lobster you want to see, <laughs> like. So. Especially if you don't eat the lobster, you might as well be the lobster. I mean, I guess yeah. Bells does. So there we go. Uh, might as well. So looks, we're moving on from uh, battle bridge and things where deity of local uh, yeah. snow battles. There's a detente, mm -hmm. and I refill uh, Flynn's glass. Mm. I see. Well, I thought you wanted to come here. Have you been reading Nalgar there the whole time? Well, I mean, yeah, there are more than one way to enjoy it, Onsen. Sure. Okay. What's your book? Oh, um, doing some research for my next project. Um. Uh, Bell sort of leans forward so they can see the cover. Uh, it's a, it's basically a, a pharmacology book. It's, it's like new discoveries and like uh, medicine, medicinal like stuff like that. It's yeah, it's it's nice high science stuff. So, so light reading. Mm. And I'll sit back. As you sit back, uh, real quick, we had three people purchase Pandora's box. Starting with mini markers, thank you very much for that. And okay, Megan, you get to create a new power that uh, will go away at the end of the end of the session because, well, it's season finale. So whatever you want, you get a new power. Can I think about it for a second? Absolutely. Might I suggest Would Megan? Nancy. <laughs> That's true. Uh, command of Woodland Creatures. Okay. For the rest of this session, Megan will have Command of Woodland Creatures. Yes. They are mine now. Yes. Uh, the monkeys are currently bringing you offerings of fruit, sake, yes. and uh, one of them wants you to autograph their baby. It's a little Oh my awkward, gosh. I would do that. But it's a monkey baby, yeah. so at least it's cute. Flynn, do you have a pen? 
Yes. Make sure it's Animal Safe Inc. Where did that came. You don't want to know. Is there a label for that? <laughs> mm -mm. It's just a. It just says Flynn on the side. It's a Flynn Brands pen, and I sign a baby, and I say, yes. "You bring me the the Squirrel King." <laughs> okay. As they begin to have uh, another brief war in an attempt to kidnap the Squirrel King of Japan, you Empire... could have, you could have been a verdant. <laughs> I mean, empires die if they don't keep expanding. I will own this forest. Yes, um, our second Pandora's box will actually go to Flynn. And Flynn, you have received sentient hair for the rest of the <laughs> session. <laughs> we all knew it would achieve sentience eventually. You put enough chemicals in it. Thank you, our Krebs Landry. Oh, and last but not least, from Warrior of Books. Okay, Megan, landed on you again, you lucky duck. Let's see what you get. Am I in Will C today? Apparently. All right. Oh, God. This one actually does not apply to you. It applies to everyone. Ooh. As suddenly you start hearing banjo music. And every everything takes a sepia tone color to it. Lynn. Did someone fuck with time again? No, this was not me. I have I learned my lesson with partygod.exe. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson and make it made it a lot more secure. Ooh, okay. Yes, Flynn, you did. But uh, what about countrywestern.exe? Listen, I didn't make countrywestern.exe. I'm just the only one holding the the, the last copy on, known on Earth. I would like to be excused from this narrative. Uh, Grandpa Nathan pokes his head out from uh, the hotel room wearing a cowboy hat. <gasps> yes. Um, Glenn? Yeah. I might have hit something on your laptop. <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was pretty clear. Like, touching it could have world-ending effects. I'm aware of that. I was trying to get the rabbit away from it, and uh, why am I Southern? Oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, Papa, you sound you ridiculous. Are, you are Southern. You're from Georgia. I know I'm from Georgia, but I don't sound... I sound like a goddamn hayseed. I don't appreciate this none. You really do? Oh, dang it. <laughs> why is my hair in two braids? Someone answer me right now. <laughs> For the same reason, I apparently no longer have dreads, and instead I have this nappy-headed afro, but okay. There you go. Is this about to be a hoot nanny? Oh no, not a hoot nanny. We already talked about how hoot nannies are a problem. <laughs> then how do we make this stop, Flynn? Once again, I wanted on record, I was trying to stop a situation from happening, but now uh, he holds up uh, Horo, and Horo now has uh, antlers. I believe your bun is now a jackalope. Honestly, that's amazing. I hate all of this. That might have actually been worth the whole pre No, no, it's two different braids. It's not a look. It is not a vibe. Oh. I mean, if if the if the antlers are speaking to you, I'm not mad if you decide to keep them because you. Look I don't really want cute. antlers. Well, then there you go. It's your expression, my dear. I hate this. I hate all of this. How do we make it stop, Flynn? I don't know. I'm kind no, of vibing on it now. Nothing about no. No. What is going on in here? Please end it. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you the moment he opened his mouth, it was going to change everybody's mind. <laughs> My mind's about where it was before. <laughs> well, you know, if you just leave those braids in overnight, you're going to get a really nice body wave. I can have a nice body wave all on my own. This body waves at every single person in this land. We got to address the fact that I am physiologically impossible right now. I, mean, I have antlers and I'm a bat. I'm a bunny. Like I said, you do look very cute, but the way you look should be up to you, which is why I say again, Flynn, how do we fix this? Ooh, look a jug. <laughs> she just starts <laughs> blowing on it. Well, ooh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I'll yeah. have to do some research about this. 
that turned a corner and i'll tell you what that is not as attractive as you think it is i know i know but i do have a real feeling i needs to play the hermanica (laughs) it's your time it's your time over to megan thank you so much darling oh no oh cousin You actually know how to do this. Yeah. That's amazing. Hell yeah, I do. I'm abundantly <laughs> white. <laughs> that is your boyfriend. Oh boy. Well, you know what they say. What happens in a country western stays in a country western. So I I'm pretty sure I'm single right now. I don't think that's what they say, Megan. I is it not? <laughs> it's really very but it's really very much not. All I right. mean, which one of us was listening to an up country western to find out in the first place? That's fair. Okay, I can, grew up in Georgia. I you can did pry a dolly from my with, cold, dead hands. It's like I didn't exactly <laughs> have a choice. Quick question. Megan leans over to see uh, what the new title of Will's book is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, what you yeah. cogitating on now? I mean, uh, science Barbara- didn't exist in country western films, so it's probably just some sort of pseudo ridiculousness. Instead, well, actually, it, it's still a doctor's book. It's, it, it is a book about medicine, but it's also a book about uh, shaving and barbary. Yeah, it is also authored by Doctor Quinn, medicine woman. So you know, oh, no. mixed bag. Oh, same oh, brain. that show. <laughs> same brain, cousin. <laughs> yeah, I see I, you, cousin. I mean, I, I even I know that was the problematic. The more things change. Oh man, this feels even more right now. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, you guys cut it out, please. <laughs> Just because we're in Hayseed Town doesn't mean y'all actually have to imbibe on the Hayseed juice. I mean, I'm just saying. I imbibe on the sake that is not a hasty <laughs> juice, but for the purposes of this narrative, kind of maybe it's, it's a probably bit. actually moonshine at this point. Ooh, you'll go blind. <laughs> um, Basically, the world the cousin begins to ever clear. So. <laughs> Uh, the world begins to pulsate back into normal, modern colors. No, uh, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> and the Casa Obake, the uh, umbrella monster that has been working as your steward, uh, comes hopping out, currently a lovely lady's parasol wearing a cowboy boot. Ooh. Oh, how do y'all just want to let you know we're working on getting things back to... Japan, right now we're a bit of an Amerabu situation, and I don't think anyone wants that. Definitely not exactly what we paid for, but it's not exactly your fault. It's my bunny's fault and my grandpa's fault. Well, let's be fair. I just made the realization just right now, and probably no one ever has, that Seven Samurai and the Magnificent Seven are like descended from the same concept. So, you know, country Western culture is pretty closely tied to. Japanese samurai yeah, culture. Space- Ford, he, he took a lot of, a lot of. Damn it, Flynn, get your shit together. Listen, hey, so, he took a lot of heavy uh, inspiration on Akira's Kurosawa's work. <laughs> I mean, it's not too far off to say that samurai were a bit of the wild west of Japan, like, you know, in that feudal system. But that being said, we are. We thank you for your efforts to help put things right because I swear to God, I would like to be doing anything but this accent right now. Uh, well, we're going to have to keep doing it because we lost Steven. <laughs> we did. Oh, oh Steven. He was so good to us and now he's gone. <laughs> he, gave us, he gave us this, this uh, hellscape to live in. <laughs> uh, and now we cannot escape. Uh, just like now, this is the actual Hotel California. Yeah, you can check in anytime you like, but you can apparently never leave. But no, you can never leave. Look at this. We hmm. have the power right now. We can all say yes to things. Okay. So want to say yes to right now? We are in a country western in Japan, and we have the power. It's almost yeah. like we are demigods or something. Ooh, I like it. Oh no, lack Megan, I lack any amount of creativity outside of b- battle. Now that's just falsehood. Uh, Flynn, what do you got? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm fixing on bringing on, Damn on, it. on our Harold back so we can get back on track. I apologize, everyone. Hi. Uh, well, we are innocent of all crimes, don't you worry. Yeah, yeah we're in space didn't, now. We didn't do nothing. We really didn't. All right, uh, that's good. Uh, Maybe with a little bit more time. 
We contemplated, yes, with a little bit more time. Oh no, yeah. I actively advocated insurrection. I well, liked it. My internet went down. My internet inexplicably went down, so I apologize for that, everyone. And I apologize. Why do you have Glenn? to apologize for things that are not your fault? Exactly, it's all your control. Because I left everyone alone with southern accents, and it, it was a bit much. What accent? I don't know what you're talking about. Is I'm just the little boys from Talladega Nuts. Oh, bother. Uh, so, as the uh, Kata Obake begins to uh, <laughs> flick its tongue around, suddenly the world snaps back to reality. Oh, there it goes gravity, mom's spaghetti, and then... The world is back to normal. Grandpa Nathan still has the ha cowboy hat, though. I mean, keep it. It's honestly a good look for you. Wait. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Whew. Flynn, say something. Uh, <clears throat> Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think that's good. I think we're okay. Oh, thank God. Whew. How many of these do you have on your computer? Um, do you want me to lie? Do you want me to break your computer? Is that a choice that I get to make when talking to you? Uh, do you want it? Want me to make it seem like you have a choice? How would that help? I, I don't, I don't know how to answer you right now. It's a simple yes or no, Flynn. It, mm, it, mm. it was a number. I mean, could, conceivably, I don't know, because cause many of them are voracious and can spawn amongst each other. So technically, there is an infinite amount Do you ever get the feeling that you could figure out how to communicate if you could just solve the LSAT puzzle involved? Abria appreciates that joke and Megan doesn't get it. <laughs> she even also appreciates that joke. <laughs> yes, um, as the monkeys, uh, cheer on their new sheriff for uh, bringing peace to their tiny western monkey town. Uh, we have a few tier unlocks to address, uh, namely re-rolls for the table. Thank you everyone for those, always appreciated. And also we are going to go ahead and roll. Aki! We'll, we'll receive fate's favor today because you're you. Uh, I take that as a sign that all is right with the world. At least there's balance to the world. We also have a few more subscriber unlocks. Heart of Handprints gives two rerolls to the table because Heart of Handprints is more like a Heart of Butt Prints. All right, like giving rerolls to you to those. Both are excellent in a Xerox machine, so I don't know what your problem is, Stephen. Yes, yeah. and we also have one from DJ Who. Uh, you know what? Much like the Doctor, I preferred it a couple years ago. There you go. So uh, thank you. You put some parents. respect on Jody Whitaker's name. Joey Whitaker is my favorite doctor. I just could not stand uh, the 12th doctor. You're not your valid. Continue. Uh, Moffat got old fast. Anyway. We have opinions. We have opinions here. I stay here for David Tennant. So we stand. Uh, Matt was my doctor. Also, yes. Also valid. Great face, <laughs> though. I liked him. Uh, all right. So, uh, at this point, a barrage of uh, cats come bringing in dishes of food for all of you. Behind them is a woman in all white with a deathly pallor to her. Um, with real, her eyeliner is amazing. Uh, she is the owner of this hot spring 
Izanami. Also known, also a Japanese goddess of death. Oh. <sighs> I never want to wear a petticoat again. How is, as the cats prepare your dinner inside, she steps outside to check in on all of you. How have you been finding this place? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I mean, the honestly, the monkey war got a little unbelievable at the end. Uh, I had to really suspend my disbelief. But apart from, like, and that's just, like, just a minor concern. So apart from that, everything's been really solid. Hmm. Uh, the monkeys are currently, uh, they, they've moved on from Westerns, and now they're doing sci-fi movies, and it's Ooh. a whole thing. Yeah. But they don't have much of a budget, so there's a lot of uh, snow monsters. Yeah. Yeah. They do get up to shenanigans. More so recently. I don't know what to do about that. Well, apparently they have a new god, so you could always ask for tips from Megan. Bring me the Squirrel King's head. Maybe not killing. Oh, oh I can still be attached. You see several monkeys put down their swords slowly. <laughs> as they trot off to gr grab you the Squirrel King's head. I said can. And then I look over at Will, like kind of guilty. I just, I want to leave them options. I don't know. You remember what happened when someone said that to Menelaus, come on. <laughs> oh, the Trojan War was great. What a time to be alive. <sighs> I do miss a good, I do miss a good pointless war. Oh my gosh, right? See, you get me. All wars are pointless. That's true. And that one buried the gays really terribly. It did. You mean cousins. <laughs> They're roommates. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> well, as long as you all are all having a good time, I will be, uh, I currently have some guests from actually your family. She says, motioning to Bells and Megan. What? Ooh. Oh, uh, Persephone and Hades are over. Uh, they've also brought a friend of yours, I believe. Really? Do we have friends? Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I splash them with water. <laughs> I got all kinds of friends. They live in Canada. You haven't met them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Chiron and their child. <gasps> the kid? Were we supposed to get them something? You, you, you two didn't. Uh, we travel when we went to LA. We... Our Uber driver. Uh, that seems a little reductive, Flynn. It's River. Um, they were the son of Chiron and a demigod of, of well, technically, I guess their domain was tran transporting people. Um, they were the person who brought us out to Los Angeles when we first made our way out here. Oh, uh, and cool. Then decided to continue on afterwards. They weren't the type to stay in one place for very long. They turned their car into a rocket and then, then we drove it into a, a giant face in the sky. It was a blast. We were we were fighting chaos. Dope. But then t chaos turned out to be like a big dumb baby. Well, oh, I mean, like literally, beautiful. like literally they're, a baby. Well, yeah. have you seen a a baby? Chaos. Fair enough. Their I mean, it wasn't going to be a ladder. A what kind of household appliance? There was a lot uh, of issues in that. Well, in that season all seasons of this game uh, by design <laughs> but yes the driving queer yes uh, uh, hey flynn i'm just gonna ask very quietly uh, i can't do cantrip super silently but i just <laughs> do a whisper that i think is quiet enough hey flynn where did we leave the biden um um do you mm, um, I don't, um... Lynn, where did you leave the Biden? 
So, in in my apartment back in Los Angeles, sitting in front of the door next to uh, also the the hat that I took that I was told to not forget is the Biden with a hat on top of it so that I wouldn't forget both and a note saying don't forget these. Yes. Okay. Do you think Hades... I think it was lost uh, at the airport. Are you lying to me? <laughs> Would I lie to you? Yes? Would it be bad if I lied to you? Not about this. Hmm? Um, it's back. I could, I could get it. Oh, I was just wondering. I just want to, I just want to make sure, like, Katie's not here. Be like, ah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. You have wait, how often do you lie to me? Um, not as much as other people. Huh. Oh. Is that a lie? Thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's healthy. Uh, I think Will, I think Will, uh, uh, is rooting around in their in their satchel um and like sticks something in the pocket of their yukata and like uh actually heads towards the door uh and is like uh i'm i'm gonna i mean obviously i, I could think we're all probably going to go but i i need to go actually talk to them really fast uh first if that's okay sure i'm done not uh poaching so i'm going to back into Go the poach. water yeah no, no. you rehydrated <laughs> you have had all of that like bells just walks into the ocean and it's like that except it, it it's just it's just a hot spring except it's relaxing <laughs> exactly hey yeah. you know what figuring you spent a season figuring out what your domain was going to be and you accomplished that so now you get to poach whenever you like exactly flair right. is just uh, going to town on like onigiri and uh, and royal milk tea <laughs> oh yeah no they, they brought you the bougiest of dinners and there's so much good stuff megan's playing with flynn's hair because it seems weird all of a sudden <laughs> every so often the hair just kind of sways back against your finger and then wraps around it and let's go and i think your hair is flirting with me and i don't know how to feel about it continues know. braiding his hair <laughs> Should I be jealous yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right flynn's not allowed to go bald good to know uh well you make it through the onsen and you find uh well you hear them before you see them and you find persephone hades chiron and well it's river but it's not how you remember them they've clearly ascended And they are as aggressively nondescript as they always want it to be. I think Will just sort of smiles to himself and uh, like knocks on the their door, uh, kind of poking their head through like the glass that's probably like next to it that's allowing them to see them. Just like. Uh, Persephone is the first one to notice you and she gets up and she's, you can tell she's gone for full Taurus. She's got like this beautiful pink kimono with like some uh, black branches in her hair. She's, it's very pastel goth, very Harajuku. And she comes up and, Will, oh my God, hi. Hi. Holds her arms up for a hug because she's a hugger. Uh, I think Will kind of like, awkwardly steps into the hug it's it's very cursory just sort of uh <laughs> yeah honey honey Kyron, hi we got guest uh they come and greet you and you get a very nice smile from the person who was once river it's nice to see you again likewise congratulations wasn't planned but gone well 
final trips. Ah, yep. that sounds right. Um, sorry to interrupt your family time. Um, I came here because I, I needed to return something. Mm -hmm. uh, and Will digs into their pocket and pulls out the pomegranate and sets it on the table. Uh, it's physically impossible to read River's expression. They definitely did that intentionally. But Hades is wide-eyed and kind of looks at you and back at it, into you, into it, into you, into it. Did you eat it? I thought about it. Ooh. Um, but no, um, I didn't. Um, I'm actually, uh, I'm retiring. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, uh, I talked to my great, great, great grandmother about what I wanted. Uh, and she told me I didn't have to uh, do anything I didn't want to do. And uh, I don't know, godhood's not for me. And uh, I don't think demigodhood is either. So I figured I don't need this. And I took it from you without asking, so I might as well return it. I mean, I would be upset, but uh, you brought it back. And I mean, it's not like you stole it and, I don't know, left it by your front door or in a closet. Um, I still feel like I should say I'm sorry. I'm not the type of person who takes from people without asking. I mean, I'm, I'm not my brother's, so I'm, the fact you apologize and brought it back, I'm, uh, you're all forgiven. If you want, I could yell something about hellfire and break something. Would that make mm. you feel better? No, I, I don't think your hellfire applies to me. Yeah, no, not really. No, yeah. Um, I love him. I, I love him, Bo Hades. <laughs> You threw a really nice party, by the way. Um, pretty sure the rest of them are gonna come in here at some point and maybe say hello, but none of them will remember it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really need to put up a fence or something. I don't think that would stop this particular group of people. No, no, definitely not. Absolutely not. It's a fool's <laughs> errand. I learned that from Persephone. Mm. Um, uh, and Will kind of turns to Persephone and is just like, what is it like? Uh, what's, what's what like? One foot in one world and one foot in another. I find it really empowering. I find it really, no matter how hard things get, I always just remind myself, I can do anything for six months. No matter how much I miss the flowers and the trees and the sky, and no matter how much I miss my husband and that feeling of home, I can do anything for six months. I hope that helps. I don't know. It was uh, different just being me for a while. Well, wherever you go, there's you. Thanks. Um, River, do you uh, still now and then take uh, jobs for friends? Usually I charge, but I'll give you a discount. When we uh, head back to LA after this, I might need a ride home. You down? I could do that. 
Cool. We can take the long way. I'd like that. Uh, well, kind of nods to everyone and like looks at the pomegranate one more time and then leaves. All right. Well, as you leave, you hear muttering. Not from the hotel room you just left, no. Uh, coming from what you think is a closet, you hear muttering and the sound of metal scraping metal. Uh, I guess kind of Will just sort of presses their ear to the door of whatever room they're hearing that from. This would be so much easier if I could just have some god damn opposable and I dropped it out. God damn it. Where? Are you okay in there? It's fine. Don't call the fire department. What? Everything's fine. We're fine in here. Nothing in here but us mops. What is wrong with me today? What is wrong with me today? Will is going to crack the door open. Inside, you see a very handsome fox. Hi, Robin. Oh, I just want my thumbs back. Why is that? I, I blame Disney. I blame Disney Plus. Everyone's watching that stupid movie. And now I'm stuck like this for, I don't know, until BBC decides to make a new show out of me. Okay, you know what? Sherlock, Sherlock got to have that weird angular face for a hot minute. And then he got to be be that uh, that other asshole who was the robot guy for the movie. He got to be him too. And oh, now yes. he's going to be a girl. And I, I'm a fox. This is also bad. technically a rat, kind of. I Or a mouse, I should say. No one saw that movie. I, I did probably the only version of Sherlock Holmes I actually like. You need to read more fiction. <sighs> All right. Anyway. I, I like my I, science journals just fine. Thanks. Why are you here? Oh, um, I came here to bring Flynn a present uh, because I know their birthday is coming up. And I also figured, well, if I'm going to be stuck here, I might as well do some work while I'm here. What work? Oh, I stole this from Bezos. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Now, nah, see, I've been trying to be more objectively on the right side here. So stealing from the rich. And I, I swear to God, I steal from this guy like every other week. He doesn't notice. Well, why going. would I'm... he? He's like the most, he's like, uh, we don't have to go into that. I'm oh, sure you... we don't. But no, seriously, I'm personally offended at this point. Like at this point, I'm just stealing stuff to see if he'll notice me. Like I am so mad. I can't even speak straight or see straight and I don't have thumbs. Well, I mean, we're, we're in Japan where the senpai notice me energy is pretty strong. So at least you're in the right place for that energy. Um, do you want me to take you to the room so that you can talk to Flynn? Sure. One sec. Um, and he puts on a little fox backpack and you notice he has become the actual height of a real fox. So he is about two feet tall with a back backpack and it is very Instagrammable. You look really cute, by the way. I hate this. I hate this so much. You do realize that you wakened an entire generation of furries without realizing it, right? I'm aware. And that most people find you objectively hot. Why are oh. you mad at this? You are a literal fox and a fox. I am, okay, I'll have you know, I'm always hot, all right? I just don't feel comfortable right now because I don't have thumbs and I, mean... I need thumbs for my work. Okay. Sure. Also, I mean, also Disney doesn't to... pay royalties. Okay, Disney doesn't pay royalties. Like, I'm public domain, and I have to work with that. 
I mean, you can manage a bow and arrow just fine in the film. So why why not now? The, you yeah, have you know, thumbs. You just have, to rem- just have to remember you have thumbs. You do have thumbs. I, just I, You I, have to be- believe. You're a god for crying out loud. You believe you have thumbs and you have thumbs. That is true. That is true. But uh, it, it's a little more complicated than that. He says, actually holding up a forefinger and thumb, not noticing it. <sighs> All right. All right. Well, I guess we are going this way then uh i should probably go in and tell him that you're here first probably a good idea probably a good idea because sometimes he's a little i hate my dad and other times it's i understand he tried um it's complicated yeah no time time dilation and dual realities overlapping and the fact that his girlfriend was responsible for it yeah it's very complicated yeah well you know speaking of his girlfriend you might want to be careful what you say when you get in there because uh, she'll rip you in half she's kind of indiscriminate about that she's threatened uh, my life multiple times so <laughs> oh no no like uh zeus <laughs> we're all joking about about that around the water cooler. Well, he better watch out when she does finally ascend, which she's not too far from at this point. So. All right, good for her. All right, stay right here. I will go get Flynn. All right. Uh, well, as you enter the room, things are not great. You notice uh, Ohoro is at Flynn's laptop. Get away from that right now. Because, Get away from it. And the reason he's there is Continental Warrior has bought three Pandora's boxes. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Why this? Why not? Chaos. Chaos is a baby. Yes. Uh, Bells, you receive a power that will go away at the end of the session and is whatever you want it to be. Um, goodness. Power bells, who needs it? We still haven't heard Megan's yet. Oh, no, oh, yeah. they picked the... No, uh, that, that was the Woodland Woodland Right, right. It was... uh, so if Megan's was the power to talk with something that shouldn't, that isn't usually talked with, clearly mine should be to fight with something that ought not be fought with. Um, so let's see. There was a snow theme. Ice spikes. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah! You have ice spikes, which you need, as we have also drawn a visit from the underworld and a famous dead person is fighting you. You're fighting, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. More like Napoleon Blown Apart. Let's go. Yeah, no, no. Uh, he is on a spectral horse and he is fighting with a spectral sword. And there well, are- never a, expectral to me. He never expected spectral to you or your snow. And Flynn, you are joined by an army of ghosts who are just watching this thing because this is so amusing. Thank you, Kanta Nowari, for making this scene so much stupider. Wait, so just to pick up, we were all just jamming in the hot spring and now there's ghost napoleon there's ghost napoleon in the hot spring riding on a ghost horse as a bunch of other ghosts including marilyn monroe and a couple other uh celebrities are also enjoying the hot spring with you guys and megan the monkeys have brought you the uh squirrel king you can tell he's a squirrel king because he has a little crown <gasps> oh my god yeah sweet uh well then and i'm Bells gonna leave. is currently control controlling ice because she can do that they Sweet. can do that now okay work and oh uh, Ohoro just kind of looks up at you will very slowly i just wanted to watch hulu stay <laughs> away from flynn's computer or he will destroy you and i cannot have that yeah no no i understand uh yeah Please help. Flynn. I, Flynn. All right, Flynn, you're between Marilyn Monroe and uh, Judy Newmar. Between two perms. Okay. Yes. Bless you. 
<sighs> oh wait, no, Drew Newmar is not dead. Uh, all right, James Mansfield. Okay. Uh, Flynn is literally just picking up uh, like uh, small serving plates and then just like like discus tossing them at Napoleon and doing like like just this spins and throwing them just like smashing mm. like some of them miss probably on purpose because he's not he doesn't usually miss uh but yeah he's just like he... he doesn't look too bothered to me eh, Horo? so maybe you're in the clear but please stop touching his computer i just i i thought it was i i thought it was chrome i clicked the chrome thing suddenly ghost I, uh I will digs their phone out of their satchel and tosses it eh, Horo? just watch it on my like, you know you can just take my phone, right? And just watch stuff on my phone. Well, I spike I was trying to dry off. Hey, Bells, you got this? And Megan's like barely paying attention. And just like, you're doing great, sweetie, as uh, Megan has now constructed like this incredibly ornate scene of like the Squirrel King being brought before her in her court of uh, hot spring monkeys and d demanding that he pay fealty and hand over the crown. It's a I would like to lean in since we got this whole Trojan uh, vibe yeah. going and since I now have Iceman powers. Yeah. This is 100% the Siege of Snow Troy. Thank you. Uh, Thank because you. we need this. So let's go with just like uh, like ice jab, like old school ice spear kind of thing. Just all Greek. All Greek to me. It's all Greek Thanks. to me. Hey, Bells, quick flavor. Favor, can you make me a, like a ice throne really quick? And I'll just, I'll, I'll keep him occupied for a second. Oh, no, no. I will take over the- Yeah. Uh-huh, you lost before. And she's just like slapping him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Flynn, yes. can, can you come in here really fast, Flynn? Uh fine he's gonna to toss one final plate and it's like why don't you go attack russia in the winter again plus no my idea what up well one ahoro what do you say i'm sorry for unleashing chaos from your computer wow i am so upset it it should be so much harder i definitely didn't leave my my computer open so that th things like this would happen how dare you how dare you all right and now that you've gotten through your bullshit uh more bullshit is waiting for you outside well it might not actually be bullshit he might actually be uh sincere your dad's here uh, mm, okay. he's brought you a gift apparently mm, the last one of those sent me on a really fun journey and he's a fox I mean, listen, like, if you're into my dad, you can, it's fine. You don't have to bring it up every time. I mean, like, he's the, the literal fox right listen, now. Listen, I, I, I get it. I take after him. I get his good looks. I get it. It's fine. Will uh, punches uh, Flynn in the arm. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Father Dearest. He's, he seems seems like he really wants to like talk talk Flynn mm. I know you guys don't have a good history and you're more than welcome to your feelings about him we have but... a good and bad history I know he mentioned that but yeah he's he's waiting for you outside all right let's do this I'm gonna ask as the herald uh how is Flynn feeling about this? Uh, he figures that there was one more inevitable, probably, like, well, I'm still technically human talk that he had to have with his dad, and he knew he, it was coming eventually, but he thinks that's probably what this is. All right. Outside the hotel door is a fox in a little green tunic holding a present and an empty backpack. Be gone, you dastardly fox spirit. I know that you are full of tricks in the in the, the end of the rising sun. How dare you, how dare you, in my kingdom no less, try to banish me. You have no kingdom. You have a kingdom of lies. 
my kingdom is built on honesty and integrity to besmirch me like this. Tell that, I, tell that to the merchant whose goods you stole. <gasps> that merchant was a thief unto himself. It takes one to know one. Oh. Sir, do you bite your tongue at me? N no, it's thumb. Oh, god damn it. You screwed it up. I did. I did. Yeah. That's it. And you're mixing, like, you're mixing, like, melodrama with Japanese folklore with, like, and now now Shakespeare. Look, I wasn't over, planning. You're all over the sp place. You're all I'm, over the I'm place. aware I'm all over the place right now. I wasn't even planning on being in Japan, but I want, but I know your birthday's coming up, but I wanted to bring you something, so. Cool. He hands you a wrapped present with the it's not the best wrapping job and you can tell the paper itself it was like cheap stuff from CBS but uh, the effort was there is this gonna explode? nope it would be cooler if it did <laughs> alright and then uh, Flynn opens it up it is a Fresh new pineapple hat. Dope. I uh, know you lost yours in El Dorado or something. And I also know your other one is uh, old. I thought you would appreciate a clean one. Mm -hmm. At least you can alternate now. Yeah. I'm going for the whole like Doug funny. Like I have one outfit, but a closet full of it. Uh, that will be very much appreciated going forward, I imagine. It's the same reason I always have the stupid little hat with the feather. No. So, how's, how's things? Well, I'm currently stuck as a fox, and I keep stealing from Jeff Bezos. Uh, he doesn't seem to notice, and it's starting to make me angry. I might burn down something. Mm. Or blow something up. Or blow him up. Uh, I mean, that's that's too nice of a fate for him, if I'm being I'm honest. A, I agree. I agree. You know, it used to be I would steal from the rich and give to the poor, which I'm still doing. But it used to be a little more like, you know, level 10, level 2. And now it's like level 2, level 6,000. You know, well, it's just yeah, not... The, the wealth rich... gap is disgusting. Yeah, because back in your day, it was a king who could afford three meals a day oh ah ah but now oh it's... yeah no i i look back at I, like i i'm very tempted to write an apology letter to uh prince john i'm not going to obviously should... but it is it's it's like something i thought about no mon uh monarchy shouldn't exist uh yeah agreed they, yeah i mean i i think yeah there, there there are other forms of 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 theft and destruction but i think i think you're thinking too too locally you gotta think globally um well i, I saw what you also... did to that guy at the uae and uh i, I was mm -hmm. very impressed mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. it was it was very impressive everyone's got skeletons in their closet true well um uh how is how are you how uh, how's your sister um went to go visit her but uh i'm afraid fox dander and pregnancy I don't know what might happen. I'm scared. I'm scared of the worst. Uh, well, that makes you dumb as m and a coward. So um, yeah, just go see her before she like hunts you down and like. You know, oh no, your your sister. You yeah, I'm I'm not physically intimidated by you, but I am very physically intimidated by your sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, well, because she's strong and not asthmatic. Yeah. Anyway. Um... I saw what you did for your friend at the hotel. That was uh, very kind of you. What? Do you like to be? Mo I did a lot of things to my friends at the hotel. You uh, stood by them. Yeah, that's, that's that's what you do to friends. I know, but I'm uh, proud of you. And I'm proud that you did the quote-unquote right thing. 
right ish you know right well anyway enjoy your hat i will be uh i will see you later unless you want me to hang around i mean there's so much so much food here you know uh you ever had boss coffee i have not there's a there's a it's 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 a popular brand here um yeah there's uh, it's it's all right all right the offending machines come out hot that's the that, hot things that's... come out hot and the cold things come out cold and it's... that's bananagrams yeah it's crazy that's that's bonkers there's a some of the some of the vending machines have a picture of Tommy Lee Jones crying, holding Boss Coffee. I don't understand it, but I want it framed in my house. I would spend so much of other people's money to have that. I don't know. Yeah. So Flynn, as you go back into the hotel room, joined by your father, Megan is being declared the Empress of the Woodland Creatures. Uh, in a scene, a direct parallel to like the famous painting of Napoleon being crowned emperor, she's just recreated it with woodland creatures and has dutifully accepted. And all yeah. this happened during the monarchy shouldn't exist cutaway gag. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Um, good. Meanwhile, I think Bells has uh, dragged the ectoplasm of at least one opponent around the walls of Snow Troy. Yes! Absolutely, absolutely. Just screaming uh, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> um, Grandpa Nathan, still wearing the cowboy hat because he's not getting rid of that thing. That's his. Yeah. Uh, Stakes in the fabric of reality gave it to him. And yeah, now seriously. Going to... uh, on Belle's next lap around, uh, Megan's going to like hail them down. Like, hey, do you want to go say hi to... Uh, Aunt Persephone. No, I know you're doing a thing. I, I like being hailed. That works for me. Hmm? I like being hailed. That works yeah. for me. <laughs> Let's go. This is Unless, a very uh, good are you luck, finished the with, the, with the coronation, though? Uh, yeah, I point uh, you, you, and you are governors. Uh, go forth and do my bidding. Immediately, they put on little top hats and cigars as they are now governors and begin to have uh, cabinet meetings. Tight. Mark is easy and fun. Queen for a day. Yeah. I'd like to uh, get some uh, icicles to make the spike crown spikier. <laughs> Absolutely. So much. Also, the is aesthetic? that new? fire wings, ice crown? Yes. Thank you. You really are like the best cousin and friend like I could have. I really appreciate you. Well, don't you forget it even after, you know, we both know you're going first, so. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, if Zeus shows his goofy ass up one more time, probably. Excuse me. I have ice spikes right now. If Zeus shows up his goofy ass, I have dips. Let's do one more lap together and yell Zeus and see if he shows up. We do. Yeah. Let's <laughs> roll to summon Zeus. <laughs> roll to Ben Fate, I guess. I would like to provide aid. Oh, for right, you. Right, right. Okay. Cool. We could do it the other way. Um, what's your no? Nope, I want you to do okay. it. All right. All right. Summon I Zeus. rolled a seven. <laughs> Wait. Let me. I'm gonna use a reroll. It was so much worse. Uh, I I have a. Uh, let's see. I'm at an eight right now. Uh, on a four and a two. Uh, you get one more because I helped a little bit, but this feels fine. So that gets us to a nine. So if I re-roll this two, there's a good chance we summon Zeus. Yes. Therefore, I, uh, I will take a re-roll. Yes. All and right. That, that now, it's, now it's a five, so a, a nine plus two plus one. Zeus appears uh, reading the newspaper. He is sitting on a toilet and he looks up. Where the hell am I? Why are the monkeys? Ice knife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. You suck. 
<laughs> now we go to break. Yep. <laughs> and as you beat the shit out of Zeus, and the four of you have dinner, this is the last time the four of you are together. And we'll be back after the break.
Hey everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon, a Demigod's actual play here on Saving Throw Show, and where we last left off, our New Pantheon was enjoying a nice, very raucous, very silly dinner in Japan. A few days after that dinner, you would all return to Los Angeles, and not long after that, Will would get into a car with River and head back to Athens, Georgia. That dinner was the last time the four of you were actually all together. But before we get into that, before we get into where you've all been in the past year, we have some toast from our viewers. Warrior of books, <clears throat> look. There's another mystery we need answered. So another tip from me. Also, Nerd of Books slash Warrior of Nerds are both amazing. How is that a roast, Steven? Chat and order all the roasts this season. Keep up the good work. Amen to that. And I promise next season I will have much better roast. Cheers. And Sinfully Wicked. Raise a glass for demigods. Something that I definitely want to see again, no matter what they tell you. Thank you for all the feels, the laughs, the joy, and all the magic you've brought me this season. I hope to see you all again for season four. Amen to that. So, Bells, it's been a year. You've decided your domain and you became, you've only taken, when we last saw you, it had only taken, you'd only taken a step. You hadn't gone, you weren't as close as Flynn or Megan, but you were on your way. Yes, I'd taken a step and I can't tell you how weird it is to say that. I'm not, you can make that joke, I'm not allowed, but. Um, so it's been a year. The Hotel California is safe. They, found a way for the white to get the help they needed. Um, and the flame in the hills got the closure for her sister. The anthropologists currently studying the valley are making new discoveries every day. But Bells, where are you? Well, I'm in LA because things have changed, but not that much. I haven't ascended yet, but I think it's sort of like pre-med, but like pre-God. Hmm. So I ended up in what I guess is a fairly interdisciplinary program, all things concerned. Acceptance of love loss takes a lot of shapes. And so I've had to go outside my comfort zone in a lot of ways because sometimes it does require a little bit of justified rage. Sometimes apparently people need a bit of <sighs> sabotage and I don't know, people say it helps. Sometimes people just need to have a sense of a presence quietly nearby. And that one might be the most foreign at all to me, just sitting there and being quiet. But my mom's helping a lot and I like to think I'm getting better at it, but the one I think I enjoy most of all is that post-breakup haircut that they didn't feel like they could get until they were on their own. And that's where I am in this moment. And frankly, she looks amazing. The woman you're helping, Martha, she stares at her haircut 
when she came in, her hair was a very sensible, like, mid-shoulder Karen, for lack of a better term. It was practical. It was very nondescript. And now she stares at this asymmetric, wild thing, and you see tears in her eyes. It's much more you. You really should go after that windsurfing. You look beautiful. You're so powerful. She throws her arms around you. What? They do that a lot. The salon has become a house of worship for you almost. People know bells. People cherish that because they know what it represents. Love not just the loss of love, but also the rediscovery of it, the claiming of it for yourself. And it means a lot to a lot of people. There are all these people I wish I could help, but that one's not for me. And honestly, if Megan thought she could get away just because she did whatever she did, then she would be sorely mistaken. Uh, because if I'm going to help with all of the cathartic rage, I need lessons. I do have to ask you, Bells. Yeah. You're the one who had the best relationship with your pantheon. Are you, do you still consider yourself uh, part of the Theoi? I mean, it's the family. It's what I've always been. And frankly, if it doesn't get some young blood in it and some good thinking, then the only people who will be left there are people with gross, terrible ideas. And frankly, I had too many ice spikes for that. Thank you, Warrior Books, for the tip. Now, that does lead us to Megan. Yeah. So, uh, now here's the problem is I'm not a great idea uh, girl. I'm not known for that. So after Mary had her kid with Tracy, and she started to mention a desire to return to the streets to fight crime. I said, yes. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Um, I take it you haven't ascended to godhood yet? Oh, that's the thing. There was one day where we thought we were dealing with just some weird, something weird on the dock. It ended up being a bit more supernatural than we expected. And rather than let Mary take a like lethal blow, I use my last ascendance move. Ooh. Victory at any cost. Victory at any cost. Yeah. Mary, Mary absconded from godhood. Yeah. So you were separated when that happened. You are able to sometimes talk to her in those weird liminal spaces where sometimes the divine and the supernatural and the mundane coexist, but you both lost a very dear friend that day, or at least your relationship was forever changed. I consider it, uh, since Flynn is uh, their kid's godfather. I have decided that makes me the godmother. And I don't think there's anything cooler than being a godmother that literally protected the mom by becoming a god. That's great for me. I love it. I love to see it. It's very you. It's pretty on brand for me. Megan, but I didn't... Oh, oh go ahead. sorry, Megan. No, nope. go ahead. You go. I was just going to ask, did you stay with the Theoi? I didn't. I 
have had a contentious relationship with them my whole life. And even though that means I don't get to spend as much time with my cousin uh, once they catch up with me, I there's new ground to be broken here. There are so many Greek gods and I don't love sharing the spotlight. So I stay here and make something new. Glenn, where are you? Uh, well, uh, Flynn, uh, without much convincing, became Megan and Mary's uh, person in the chair, who basically stayed back, like when they like had a cool nickname, did all the like uh, the police are coming in, you know, was that person, um, and uh, and enjoyed that uh, aspect of it when when not doing his his usual trying to make uh, right in the world. Um, and after Megan ascended, uh, he realized that there wasn't a lot left holding him, uh, that, that to tethering him to this uh, anymore. Uh, so uh, with, with Mary uh, coming into her own and having a child and stuff like that, uh, he took a, a, a toy, an old Teddy Ruxpin doll, uh, that he had given to his his niece uh, and uh, used his ascendance move, uh, which uh, the ascendance move of the artisan, and basically turned it into a giant, like like not a giant, but like a totally like protector of the child, like it can, like like living sentient, like robotic being Teddy Ruxpin that can like protect the family and stuff like that, and maybe goes on missions with Mary. Who knows? It's up to her. But like basically designed like the perfect babysitter slash protector for this child uh, with the last bit of uh, his humanity and then ascended. And is it safe to assume that you've ascended to be part of this new pantheon with Megan? Yeah, he never really had much connection to his 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 Britannia roots uh, and didn't really care for really any of them all that much uh, nor did he care too much about their problems about because most of them are very empirical. Empirical. All right. When he ascends, Megan like is sort of has lost that like very mortal sense of like shyness or demureness about their relationship, and she just throws her arms around him. Yeah, and the, the one thing is like he that he didn't assume would have that like, he was not accounting for when ascension is for some reason and he he doesn't know why and he wishes it weren't true he physically cannot lie to megan anymore <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> the greatest gift you've ever given me thank you <laughs> what happens when he tries to lie to her he literally like 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 um it's it's like Jim Carrey and Liar Liar. Like it like <laughs> physically pains him. She'd be like, "Where were you last night?" And he was like, oh, "I was out drinking with my friends." <sighs> like like anytime he tries to, he yells out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so happy. <laughs> As the founders of this new pantheon, have the two of you made a name for it yet? I'm not the namer. You name stuff. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Do pantheons have names? I don't know. The other ones yeah. were like Greek. Yeah, because they were and like Roman. geographic. And yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, like we we live in America, but like you know, that's not like we're not the American pantheon. I don't know. I I mean, we could be cool American go. Nope, don't say that. Yeah. Oh, right. That's already a thing. <laughs> we'll keep workshopping it. Yeah. And every now and then. Are we supposed to have scribes that do this stuff for yeah, us? Yeah, like right. To take our tails and turn it into a thing. We need a god that can like inspire people to come up with a good, and thus begins the campaign to recruit bells. <laughs> I don't mind being courted. <laughs> I imagine we we are both doing it in very different ways, trying to like 
somehow coerce or force bells into <laughs> giving up more of, and more of their humanity. <laughs> yep. At what point does Flynn bring something from the Greek pantheon to me, like, you know, the cat with the dead mouse present? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that literally, the, there, there's one Is it the apple? <laughs> the, there's one point where it's it's just the Bident, and he's like, like, it's yours if you just ascend. Come on. I didn't even know you'd stolen this. Uh, Megan hot glues a flower onto it and like a seashell. Uh, at some point down this line, I think Bells has enough aesthetic weird to add the gold star you tried. <laughs> See nice. you next week. <laughs> and I think uh, Bells and Megan have like actual conversations, but they happen in that like liminal space, like as you're falling asleep. And I think that's when we can catch up and talk. And uh, during those actual face-to-faces, like she act she doesn't recruit. She just wants to know how they're doing. And then like during the normal day it becomes like a silly God and sends like raccoons and possums and, and other weird LA animals to just like drop notes off. Like, come on, do it, do it coward. <laughs> yes, Bells, you have gotten almost used to the coyotes that show up with messages. So many coyotes. <laughs> At last, the woodland creatures come and greet me like the Disney princess I was always made to be. Flynn, do you say your goodbyes to Will before you go? Absolutely. Uh, like when he when he makes the decision that he is going to to finally just just let go, uh, he has one big like uh, barbecue with uh, Will's parents like in their backyard with and invites his parents too, but. Because uh, he's like that was one of his big memories of growing up is is visiting uh, Will's parents and and like them always feeding. So it's like this big family cookout at at the Ajahis. I actually think that's a great place for us to pick up. Your mother has brought stuff from the grocery store she works at. Will, your father has been grill mastering all day. He has his kiss the cook apron on. He learned everything he knew from my grandpa, who grandpa I made... think, hmm? yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I think that with um, Will's uh, decision to no longer pursue godhood, like he has also in a way like declined a bit, um, perhaps not as spry as he was. Um, so there is there is a consequence to them deciding not to move forward. Your grandfather has lost that youthful divinity within him. He he was your mentor. He was supposed to be your guide through this process. And when you decided not to pursue it, he was much healthier but he became just an old man. And he sits there with his uh, fiance, Yukiko. And every so often we'll glance over at your dad and tell him how he's doing it wrong. And your dad will grumble about how he's not doing it wrong. You're just being judgmental. And uh, Lynn, you are here back in Athens, possibly one of the last days of your, of being human. Does everyone know? Uh, no. Uh, if his dad showed up, which is iffy, uh, he would probably just sense it. Um, he, he wouldn't tell his mom in as many words, but I assume she would just confer because why would he go through all this gesture? Uh, the only person he would directly try and talk to would be will who I, I i feel like after will left there was a very long period of time where like they just weren't in contact with anyone so this might be like the first time in a while that they've seen flynn so they know so 
standing out here in your backyard, Will, um, where you grew up, where your journey began, and looks like where you're going to say your goodbyes. Sup, nerd. Give me your lunch money. I still can kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, but soon, like, that, you don't even know. I don't know. I think uh, even after today, regardless of uh, what happens next. You think I feel, fear you? My girlfriend is literally a god. How is she? Uh, she is literally a god. And you? Not yet. But soon, right? Yep. Like, not tomorrow, but, like, this, yeah. Uh, Will, you're super nature, nature-y. Uh, I think you are aware of, like, a young coyote that's just sort of off and away and just watching. Well, at least we you still have a little piece of that, even with me not around. Yeah. It's weird because like, like, like I don't, I didn't think it would be like such a change when she, uh, you know, ascended. But it's like, it's like a long distance relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you miss her? Uh, yeah. But also, like, she's there, but like not. Uh, and I know it's, it's just like you know, it's like my flight hasn't left yet. You know. I'm really happy for you, both of you. So how, how have you been? Uh, you know. I mean, I do. I, I, I track your location. But, like, tell me anyways. Counseling is happening. I don't know if we've made any progress, but it's happening. Um, I started a new book. And uh, the garden is coming along. But otherwise, it's quiet, like buying my own house. And I mean, it's down the street, so I'm not that far, but it's nice having my own space. Even if I'm not really leaving it much just yet. I mean, this stuff takes time. Uh, it's, it's, it's weird. Last, like the last time, like we were, like did this. We were in different, like we were in each other's shoes. I feel like it's, you know, like you were, you because you always knew. What you could, be, and then I was just. I thought I was just Flynn, and now here I am, and I know what I'm going to be, and you're gonna just be Will. And it's, it's a weird res reversal. Yeah. I mean, I'm really going to miss you. Um, but I think uh, even before you did, I knew that this was definitely where you were going to end up. Yeah. I mean, it, I feel like I always knew, but I just I tried to not think about it until I couldn't anymore. Until, uh, you know, until everything happened. And me, I I, uh I don't know. I don't think I was as sure as you thought I was. It's true. I guess, I guess it's not that you were like it's just I guess you always were in it a little bit more than I was. Maybe because I was looking for some way to be instead of knowing from the start. Well, I hope you find the way that you need to be. Uh, and I hope you know that it's not 
I'm glad that it's not that I'm glad you're not following, but I'm glad that you are going the direction that you want to go and not the direction you think you're supposed to go. I think I want to go this way, but I don't think I'll know until I get there. Yeah, it's, it do be like that. Got to get out of the hole I'm in first to find out. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's all real stupid. Like every bit of it is so stupid. And the, the stupid it is, the more I love it. Uh, uh, so yeah, so it was, it was pretty clear for me pretty early on, but yeah, I do. I know that you will find the path that you're supposed to be on because you're too damn stubborn to go listen to anybody else. Not too damn stubborn, just, uh, How are they? Um, you know, Megan's been trying to get them to join this new pantheon that we're starting real hard, and they're like, they, I, I feel like they're they're like, they want to like, you know, you know how they are with parties, like you have to like invite them like seven times before they show up, and then they show up late, and and they're like, oh, I don't know if I if I I'll swing by maybe, and then like. They show up at the last minute and you're like, oh, mm. yeah. I think it'll so they be become a true Los Angelian then. Yeah, I think I think it'll probably be something like that. I don't know. I think the three of you are found a, a rhythm that worked. Um, I think that's a kind of rare and important and I'm glad that it happened. Because, uh, yeah, you should be together. Yeah. Yeah, and also, like, none of us like like our families that much, you know? Well, those does not have that much of a problem with their family. But I think they like you more. So Which if you... Uh, take a page from their book, you might figure out a bit, the best way to angle that pitch for them. Yeah. I'll see. I'm sure I'll come up with something brilliant. I mean, you're pretty predisposed to at least being decently convincing. It's true. You could try something you don't usually try you could tell them the Arson? truth. <laughs> you could tell them the truth. Ugh. And tell them that your pantheon isn't the same without them. Because uh, it wouldn't be. I, like, like, no joke, I don't know if I could physically, like, if my body could take it telling the truth. Like, I think it would, like, it might, it, I might shatter. And wouldn't it be worth it if you could get bells on your team? Yes, I guess that. So you, you do have a point. It makes me feel better knowing that the three of you would be together. So if I have only one request to make of a soon-to-be god, try to keep the team together. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, we shouldn't work but the fact that we keep like gods don't hang out, demigods don't hang out. How many how many demigods do you know that hang out with each other? Like so obviously well, this one doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> True. Just you, but that's because it's been you and me since before all this. And I, I mean, I'll still be here-ish. Like, any time that your Wi-Fi is a little spotty, you'll know that that's me. Don't you dare sabotage my Wi-Fi. If anything, you better make it better. Okay, yeah. 
Honestly, like I, that's one of the biggest things. I would say. It's just like uh, destroying the oligopoly of the internet service providers of this country would be uh, huge. But you have no idea how entrenched they are. I'm hoping as a god, it'll be like a snap of the finger kind of thing. I think Will just gives Flynn a big hug. The background coyote barks happily. It like yips. <laughs> They're real lucky, you know. They're getting a hell of a guy. Well, the I I know what you are capable of. And I know how determined you are. And I know that as much as things suck at the moment, you are going to do so much for this world more than most regular regular old folk I guess we will see remember with that time we took a, that 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 weird meth lab organ harvesting thing and turned it into a hospital for, for underprivileged youths I do it'll be a uh different doing that stuff without you well you'll probably always find like a mysterious benefactor or like you know an account somewhere that you didn't realize that had exactly as much as i don't you know how did i get so lucky uh you, you didn't give up on me why would i like what you've become I don't get to say I'm right often, but I was right about you. Well, at least one of us was. I don't know. I think Megan was too. It's true. You gonna marry her? I mean, Marriage, the thing about marriage is that it's it's a God. government institution that invented by the church to control people. Uh, but if she, like, tells me I have to, answer. I'm going to. Like, like if she's like, we're going to get married, I, like, I'm not going to say no, but, like, you know. Well, she would definitely be the one that proposed. I mean, you could try and beat her to it and see the look on her face when she do, when you do. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's the like find out when she's gonna do it and do it like right before she does. Oh man! Oh, I'm I'm gonna destroy her. I know my best friend way too well. <laughs> I appreciate you coming down, you know, to talk to me before you left. Yeah. I mean, I, it was mostly here for your dad's uh, barbecue, but I thought, you know. Uh, yeah, congrats. yeah. He does pretty good for a white dude. Yeah. You can't get good barbecue in Los Angeles. That's what I've heard. Why do you think I came back? You want to see it? The garden, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Will does very literally live like right down the street. Like they bought a house that's maybe like across the street and like two doors down from their parents. Um, and it is a beautiful garden. There's the, the vegetable garden that's in the backyard that like basically Will has become the person that grows the vegetables for everybody on the street. Like people just get their vegetables from Will. Um, but in the very, very back corner of the yard is like a huge pecan tree um, and beneath that pecan tree is like a circle that is like made of like branches and like maybe like old like corn stalks and like stuff like that it's just there like beneath that tree and uh, you know Will shows um, Flynn the mundane garden uh, but this is the only piece of their godhood that they've kept. And they pull Flynn um, uh, into the, the circle and they look behind them at the coyote that's following and they kind of gesture for the coyote to follow as well. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> coyote uh, follows. 
and uh, lead Flynn into the only piece of their godhood that they've kept, which is their secret garden. Megan, you've never seen the sacred garden, have you? I haven't. It's amazing. And uh, while maintaining like coyote form, I think the moment you cross her, like you realize it's like, it's very much just Megan, like being on the side and waiting and listening and just watching. Um, the garden has, again, kind of significantly expanded. Uh, but there is a hole in the foliage where a plant used to be, um, and it's gone now. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's just this beautiful, colorful, like jungle of stuff. Um, and uh, if it's all right, um, at some point in the year when they were really struggling with what they wanted to do next, um, Will did go back at some point to talk to Persephone and uh, Persephone gave them a couple of seeds and so growing in their secret garden is a single pomegranate tree it's just there kind of in a back corner um, as an option she absolutely would let you have them Coyote Megan's gonna turn into Megan <laughs> and then just give, uh, if Will is fine with it, just gives Will a huge hug. Oh, hi. Hi, thank you for going in the dark garden. It's weird, I'm not very good at being people. Yeah, it's hard to come back. This is a beautiful space. Thanks, I, uh, I uh, come in here, you know, when I miss you guys the most. I miss you too. That's the thing. And she kind of looks over at Flynn when she says it. It's surprising how much you miss people because they feel different now. Well, I guess I couldn't completely give it up. This is kind of the only place I really felt like me. You don't have to. It's not an all or nothing thing. You don't have to become a god. You don't have to throw it away. It's not a binary. No. This is amazing. Thank you. Um, you're going to take care of him, right? Yeah. 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 I'll do my best. I've had like small animal detail on him for so long. Uh, your family too, by the way. I. It feels weird to say, but like in that very like, and she clears her throat and her voice gets like super like God ominous. Like, I will watch over your family. <coughs> I can't <coughs> do that very well. But you know, like perks of Godhood, everyone gets looked out for. Um. You look great. Oh my God, thank you. It's nice, this is nice. The wings feel less weird. You look great too. <laughs> you know, for like a human. Are well, you sure you don't wanna be a God? I've got this idea about making a new Pantheon. Uh, I've heard. Yeah, we need the nature person. Come be a nature person. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but. <laughs> no, it's well, fine. The, the, I mean... the other person we're talking to is like, uh, he's like a real dick. And we're, like, we're yeah. like, we need a nature person. So we're like, we're like thinking about going with them. But if we could be like, oh, sorry, we already got a nature person. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> it's very nice of you to offer. But I think I'm pretty sure right now that you're probably going to have to find somebody else. And besides, you. You have a little bit of a streak of green with the coyotes and the woodland animals. You're not completely without a nature person. Oh, you say that now, but I can be very convincing. And spoiler, you're gonna live a very long time. I'm gonna be very annoying. We've got decades of this left, baby. Hmm. Well, for now, I think I'm 
I think I need to be plain old Will. That's fair. But nothing about you is plain. Know that. I wasn't part of what you all started, but you pulled me to you. And it was your love and your friendship and your wisdom that tied me to you. And I don't know what kind of person or deity I would be had I not known you. And if I cry, I will like wipe out part of Malibu. So don't make me do it. So help me. I guess we'll see. But if I don't join you, please don't take it as an insult. Besides, I think uh, the world needs at least one of us to keep our feet on the ground. And if it's going to be anybody, why not me? You are glorious, Will. And I cannot wait to see all the things that you're going to do here. Ways that even gods cannot touch this world. You will be glorious. And it's going to be fun to watch. I should go. I want some barbecue. (laughs) And I didn't mean to intrude on your. I think think you have privileges when it comes to intrusion in this particular scenario. And I think she reaches out and grabs her hand and holds uh, Flynn's hand too. And then turns back into a coyote and like just sort of fades into, like jumps into a hedge in the garden and leaves. She's pretty, uh, she's pretty great. Mm-hmm. You know how to pick it. up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, anyways, I carved my name on this rock and it just said Flynn was here. Uh, so, so now, n- now, you know, uh, but also like, if you ever wanted to like talk or like something, you can uh, send a message to me through this, I guess. Really? Yeah. Magic's stupid. Yeah. Magic's stupid as you are want to remind me often of uh if they don't have good veggies up there you know where to come get yours uh, uh, i fairly certain I, as a god you don't have to eat or consume I anything not, and I'm i've not pretty, eaten vegetables in three years and oh my god once i ascend that's it when, i might i might make vegetables disappear altogether don't you dare or i really won't join you ever I guess I guess you'll have to join and then reinvent vegetables. I guess so. Uh. I hate you. <laughs> but no, really, don't count on it. Okay. I I I am not. I want you to be on your path. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there will be a vegetable on your plate when we go back to that barbecue. I am sorry, but there must absolutely be a vegetable. Oh my God, I won't have to deal with this. I grew them myself. If you don't eat one of them, I will be personally Pickles insulted. Pickles are vegetables too. Pickles are not there. Pickles are not vegetables. Barely a vegetable. <laughs> they weren't vegetable, but... Uh... Vegetables are a social construct anyway. Okay. <laughs> Um, Thank you. I just just don't like putting labels on things. Oh my god. So, Will, that barbecue is your final goodbye to Flynn. Do you ever get another hello with bells? No. No. I think, I think that I think they think about it a lot. Um, I think even as they start to improve and things get better, 
um, I think they decide that I think they decide Bill's knows and that they don't have to have a talk about it, especially if Bell's ascends. I think that one day um, Will is not okay, but Will is, Will goes on a date one day, probably their first date in years. And I think when they go on this date and they're in front of their mirror, and they're dressing up and they're like really nervous and they're freaking out because they're really scared they're going to fuck this up. Um, I think, I think they think about Bells and what Bells would say to them if they were there. And I think in that moment, Bells hears that and just is there. Maybe not like physically, but just is there. But I don't want to speak for Bells. Bells, um, thanks to Warrior folks at Drawing from Pandora's Box, you currently are hosting a party with Mesopotamian rock gods playing, and uh, it is lovely, and your head is not here. Your heart certainly is not here. But do you ever reach out to Will? They made it clear. And I respect that. And if I do ascend, they don't see it. I wait, just in case. A smarter man than me once wrote that one day the sadness will end. And it's both true and a lie. You never stop hurting, but it gets easier. The pain becomes less. Well, where do you see yourself in 10 years? You just muted yourself, sorry. I think Will gets married. Um, yeah. I, I see them kind of following a very similar path to Grandpa Nathan in that, you know, they eventually do have a life with someone and like, children uh one of their children is showing very promising signs of perhaps being the next scion of aja and they've been like slowly sort of mentoring them through that um but it's very much like there is this love uh that they never really get over um that just sort of persists like in the background like through like through all that um but it th there's nothing they can really do to like stop it from being there but they they do their best to make sure it doesn't take over the rest of their life um uh Ahoro and Ijapa uh have been essentially like for now freed of their their bond to them to be like the spirits that they are until they can be connected to the next scion um and so they haven't been around for a while um will has a couple of dogs uh and has upgraded from a house down the street from their parents to like a little farm uh out in the countryside of athens um and they they never go into a professional they, they never like have a a pharmacy of their own or anything like that um they they really kind of devote themselves to like 
writing books and uh, uh, doing a, a lot of trips abroad uh, and studying um, like natural medicine and like and couching it as in as much science as possible and like a lot of like uh, books that basically take everything Goop has ever said and toss it into the sun and and <laughs> back it up with actual facts and like that's that's like what they're kind of devoted to contributing to the world is just like hey there's nothing wrong with like natural remedies but let's look at the actual science of this shit and break it down so that you know what you're doing when you go in and do this stuff it's like how to be safe how to how to safely consume natural remedies and apply them to your own life um is will kind nigh of, the science by he <laughs> he that kind of becomes like the whole crux of their of their profession is like they're the quiet homebody who writes uh and travels uh and like raises a family and it's amazing how important you become you chose not to follow the footsteps laid in front of you. You chose not to follow your friends and you chose a path for you, Will. And you are so much more important than anyone could have expected. Your work changes the medical industry the world over. Your work saves lives. Your work changes lives. And even then, the new pantheon survives and you survive and that is where the story of new pantheon ends hold on i have one dumb stinger please do uh I lighten think this, this is mood years and years like i don't know into demigodhood as we're kind of just hanging out and waiting for bells to ascend and we're still bugging will every now and then uh megan has figured out that Flynn can't lie. It's just like, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Do you love me? Yeah, of course I do, idiot. <laughs> Call me stupid. You have to say it. Say it. I, you can't force me to say it. You can't force me to say it. I I'm going to kick him in the it. chest. <laughs> you kick him you. in the chest and he goes flying backwards, say landing it. with a thud. <laughs> of course I love you. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. You're gone. Does that even hurt? I don't know. Okay. I love you too. Okay. Sorry. I've been sitting on that for like a hundred years. Oh, weird. Wow. Time uh, is what, weird. Dude, what is time? Mm. Time is a flat circle that no longer applies to you. <laughs> and she goes and, and helps him up. <laughs> the and just behind us and the future doesn't exist. Yeah, there you go. The future is in the past. So with that, I want to set, extend a very special thank you to everyone who's followed New Pantheon through this campaign. Do not fret because thanks to you, you have unlocked a very special episode of New Pantheon. The chat has unlocked GodCon 2020. This won't be next week. We will be scheduling this, but expect that to happen. It will be a very fun little special one-off. And New Pantheon will be coming back for another season with a new campaign. Anonymous Shearer, thank you very much for that. Uh, we will be coming back with a new campaign and a new exciting adventure for all of you. I would like to thank my table in particular for going on this journey. This has been an emotional roller coaster, and I have enjoyed every moment of it. So my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22. Uh, you can catch me every Wednesday on twitch.tv slash games we never play for it's always sunny in the shadows along with games we never play the podcast every Monday. Megan, where can they find you? Hi, 
I'm Abria Iyengar. Uh, you can catch me on social media at Quiddy, Q-U-I-D-D-I-E. Uh, starting next Sunday at 12 p.m. PS, uh, PDT, uh, you can catch me on Creature Collectors, which is a uh, very silly D&D game. It is Pokemon. We're playing Pokemon uh, in the D&D world uh, over on Critical Bard's channel. Um, on Monday, time. yeah, all right. Uh, on Mondays, you can catch me and Aki playing Lost Mine, just the one mine. It's a singular mine of Fandelver over on twitch.tv slash D&D along with the Roll20 crew. On Tuesdays, you can catch me and Eric playing Pirates of Salt Bay, which is a D&D uh, actual play. It's, it's piratey, fourth season, victory lap for this particular campaign. Um, and on September 16th, you can catch episode one of Pirates of Leviathan, which is Dimension 20's new side quest. Uh, and I'm playing a very, a, she's just a mean mermaid. I'm a mean mermaid cleric. It's very fun. So, yeah. I love everything about that. <laughs> Eric, where can they find you? Uh, well, they, they can find me on the aforementioned Pirates of Salt Bay on Tuesdays here. Uh, and then uh, they can always just check me out on, on all the social medias or my own Twitch channel, which is uh, twitch.tv slash mostly Eric, which is my name on all the things. What are you playing now? Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to start uh, Dragon Age Origins. Ooh. Uh, Sam, where can they find you? I'm Sam Love. You can find me on Twitter at Tchaikovsky, C-H-A-I-K-O-V-S-K-Y. I do role-playing games and personal streaming. So if you want to find out what I do throughout the Twitcher net, please go to the about page of my personal uh, channel. That is twitch.tv slash delevely, D-E-L-E-V-E-L-Y. Nice. And finally, Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Uh, and all of my schedule is likewise on my personal Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Sidare Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. Um, and uh, I don't have anything special coming up this week, but um, I do want to say that I'm very, very proud of my community because we raised $750 for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund during my streamversary uh, stream, and I'm really excited uh, uh, for that. It was a lot of fun. I played Jackbox games with my, my kids, and it was a good time. I say kids because the, it's, 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 it's my teacher complex. They're all just kids to me. Everybody's a kid. You're a kid. They're all boobalos. We see how it is. We're all babies. They're all, all my babies. Baboos. And of course, special thanks to Dom Zook for running the channel and keeping all of this afloat. He has been so important for keeping this show alive. And also Eric for being my producer and making sure I got the kicked in the rear I needed when I needed it. Special thanks to StartPlaying.Games for being our sponsor for this show. And thank you viewers, we do this because, well, we want to tell you good stories and we are glad you could be a part of them. And this is where we will be checking out of the Hotel California. We'll see you next time.